Hey guys, welcome to the Stealthy Crafter. I'm Jessica and today I am going to be doing a month in review. So um, I did pretty well this month, um, all things considered, especially since I'm a bit on the slower side of diamond painting. Um, I actually completed three whips this month and I have two whips going on into the month of June. So I am ecstatic that I have three finishes. I'm just I can't believe it but um, I hope you guys are doing well and this first one you guys probably have seen it every single month of since January but it's finally finished guys I finally did it <laughs> so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'm sorry for how loud that was here we go oh my goodness so this one is mushrooms glow by Jamuska I gotten this from uh, jaded gym shop um, unfortunately, it is discontinued, so you're not able to see uh, buy uh, th this anymore, this diamond painting from uh, her shop. Um, I started this back in January 23rd, and I finished this on May 15th. Um, it has 70 colors. Three of those are ABs, and it is a square diamond painting, and it's 60 by 80 centimeters. So look at this guys anyway this one I really did love doing even though it took forever to do I really really knocked it out the last uh, few weeks at the beginning of the month like I went I went I went ham on it I was just like I wanted it done and I think I last left you guys off like right around here when I um on my last month of review so I was able to finish it off because there was quite a bit of color blocking right down here and on the sides here but look at all that detail I love it like this is this is me you know it's purple it's fairies I mean like what more can you say I'm just I'm a sucker for purple and I'm a sucker for fairies <laughs> but I just love all that detail especially the wings and just her face in general I just love everything about it and I can't wait to um find a way to get this frame because this is getting put up somewhere I I'm, I'm like already decided this is getting put up but um I'm gonna go and get the next diamond painting and I'll be right back all right guys so this next one normally I would um have this um already put forward so you guys could see what it is um but because this is a mystery um I wanted to make sure that it stays hidden for you guys uh, in case you don't want to see what it is. Um, so this is one of the mysteries from Jaded Gym Shop. Um, before I flip it over, I'm going to just give some details of wh what I had. Um, so this was like the first uh, Crafter's Den mystery kit. Um, and this was uh, the spring mystery kit. I started this back on May 4th. And... I was able to finish it on May 16th. It, um, I gotten the smallest one, I think it was like either the smallest or the second smallest. So I gotten 29 colors and three of those were the glimmer ones. Um, and then it was 40 by 40 centimeters or 16 by 16 inches. And it was a square uh, diamond painting. Um, so I'm going to flip this over so um, I'm going to count down so that way you guys can kind of speed forward so you don't get a glimpse of it but in five four three two one all right so here you go guys isn't this adorable like I thought it was so cute um, I started this all the way up at the top but um, I have never used her glimmer drill so um, which are kind of similar to fairy dust but as you can see they have that little glimmery effect it, but it's so cute um, so the artist if I'm remember correct it is Cherry Uki so um, I don't have anything of hers in my um, stash as of yet but I probably will be getting a couple after now uh, completing one of these diamond paintings um, there is going to be a summer mystery coming up I've already ordered that and I can't wait for that to come in uh, so that way I can start working on that one as well but yeah I thought it was just it's such a cute little diamond painting and it was such a quick um, it was just it was really quick I was surprised about how fast I was able to um, complete this one to be honest I wasn't really expecting to really do too much um, normally with light colors I like to single place 
but this time I did do some multi-placing so it doesn't look quite as as nice I have some gapping but that's because of me not because of the diamond painting or the drills I uh, was kind of in a rush because um, I got in something that in the mail that I wanted to complete uh, in time for Father's Day and I will be bringing that out in just a moment so let me just pause this all right guys, so here we go with my third finish of the month. This one was called um, Eagle with American Flag by Linda Howard Bittner. Um, this is from Diamond Art Club. I started this on May 17th and I finished this on May 21st. It has 36 colors. Four of those were ABs. It's a round diamond painting and it was 32.8 by 32.8 uh, centimeters or 13 by 13 inches. So I no, don't normally tend to go to American type themes or patriotic themes. Um, it's not my jam to be honest. I prefer more fantasy and stuff like that. But um, Father's Day is coming up and my dad is all into that and I thought it, this would be a great Father's Day present for him. Um, so I wanted to get this done as fast as possible because he will be coming um, here around Father's Day. So I wanted to make sure I had something to give him and you know he's never really had a diamond painting or he, did, he doesn't even really know what it is. So I thought it would be kind of a nice thing for him to have and I already bought the frame for it so after this video I'm actually going to start working on trying to frame it and uh, put it in a mat and everything. So wish me luck on that because I don't I don't normally typically uh, put thing mats on and stuff like that so I want to make it really special for him. But um, yeah, this worked up pretty fast. I think basically less than a week. I actually, if I look look over correctly, four days. Um, like I said, I was I was amazed about how fast I uh, actually worked on it. Um, I did do this section by section. To be honest, I was going to go color by color, but I was just like, uh, no, I'm going to go by section by section because it was the perforated um covers that they had. So I just decided to do that and I didn't really, um, I kid up, but I wasn't just really um, doing too much. But I do like how uh, everything looks. We had like four ABs in this. So <clears throat> one of the ABs was white. So we have some white ABs. And then down here we have a little bit of red ABs. And then we had like this tan color for the um, head of the eagle. And then not a lot of yellow, but for a little bit of the eye and then also the beak as well. So it was it was pretty fast to work up and I was pretty pleased with it. So um, I'm going to start pulling out my whips um, and we'll go over those in just a moment. All right, guys, here's my first whip that's coming into June. So this one is called The Tea Party by Ivy Dolomore. It is from Diamond Art Club. Um, it is uh, a square diamond painting. We have 65 colors and four of those are ABs. Um, it is 87 by 65 centimeters or 34.3 by 25.6 inches. Um, I started this all the way back in uh, on the 20th, so it's kind of been just a little bit on the slow going side. I've been having um, a lot of stuff going up on right around that point where I was just like had to stop going as fast as I was. So everything's kind of been just going a little bit on the slower end, but that's okay. I'm enjoying what I have done. As you guys can see, I was able to finish uh, one fairy or pretty much almost the entire fairy. Um, we got in her face. Uh, done along with the wings and I have to say it's excellently rendered. I love her face so far um, And then further up we gotten a bit of the uh, other fairy wings done as well So I can't wait to get done with that um, Along with the four ABs I also bought the enhancement pack from a uh, DP with sparklers So started kind of already dabbling into it so if you look here on her dress we have um, some crystal ABs in her dress right here um, a little bit further up, we have some uh, crystal ABs in the grass and then just some crystals uh, in the grass as well. So two different colors. We got a light green a crystal AB and then just a normal dark green crystal right here. And then right here, um, we have some blue sparklers. So if you guys can see, here we go. 
It is very gorgeous. I'm not used to using uh, rounds in a square diamond painting, but I can't wait to see um, how the sparklers also look in the lanterns. So I'm getting close to being able to do that on one of them. And I'm hoping I can finish a row by tomorrow or at least by, you know, by Monday. <laughs> but that's my first whip. And let me just put this up and I'll get to my second whip. All right, guys, our last whip into June is Seasons Winter 1896 uh, sorry, by Alphonse Mucha. Um, this is from Diamond Art Club as well. It has 32 colors. Two of those are ABs. It is a round diamond painting, and it is um, 50.7 by 97 centimeters, or 20 by 38 inches. Um, I started this back on May 21st. And I didn't start at the very top, but decided to um, go down here and start my work on the bottom, as you guys can see. Um, I also didn't section it off normally how I would. Instead, I just put a row down, and it has perforated covers, so I'm using that instead. Um, I'm not a big fan of perforated covers, to be honest. I like to um, make my own sections, but I decided to try it one more time. And if I don't like it, I'm going to just section it the way I want it. <laughs> but as you guys can see down here, it has already got so many ABs like packed in it. It's just glittering like crazy. Like I got in a huge pack of ABs for this time in painting. It's, it's insane. And it's going to look so good once it's done, to be honest. Because the ABs, um, they go pretty far up. And then we have new ABs going here as well. So there's just going to be ABs all over this diamond painting. And I can't wait to see how this is going to look once it is done. Um, I bought this for the Summer uh, summer with the Masters event that is going to be happening in June. I've never participated before. But um, I wanted to try it out uh, this time around, especially since I found a diamond painting that I liked. So um, I can't wait to see how this turns out. Um, but yeah, I don't have any other diamond paintings that I have planned for the month of June just yet. Things might change. <laughs> but um, I think there is one more diamond painting that I am planning on, but it depends on when it's coming. It could be June, it could be July. So it is the... Um, the Crafter's Den Summer Mystery that's going to be coming up. Uh, so whenever that happens, I'm definitely kidding it up and going to work on it. So, um, But anyway, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!